Hola nuevos amigos. Hello new friends. Welcome to Unit 2 of Nuevos Amigos. We're going to learn many new things in the next nine lessons. The names of different animals on a farm, the days of the week, the different kinds of weather outside, the Spanish alphabet, things you use in your school classroom, opposites, commands, action verbs, how to celebrate your birthday, and how to add numbers together, and how to tell time on a clock. In the end, we will watch another puppet play called Jack and the Beanstalk. Do you know how to say that in Spanish? Oh, I remember. Juan y los frijoles mágicos. Repeat after me, boys and girls. Juan y los frijoles mágicos. Very good, excelente. And of course, we will have our amigos to help us throughout each lesson. Have you ever been on a farm, boys and girls? My family has a big, beautiful farm. I always loved going to the farm when I was a little girl because I would run around and play all day. I also had a chance to learn about the many different animals that live on a farm. <laughs> Did I hear the word farm, Senorita Garcia? Si, Diego. Yes, you did. Have you ever been on a farm? <laughs> si, Senorita Garcia. My cousin Spike lives on a farm. When I visit him, we run and jump and play all day. It's fantastico. My cousin Spike helps the jefe, the boss, gather some of the animales. Animales are animals in Spanish. He has to round them up because the boss buys and sells animals. Hmm. Senorita Garcia, how would you say to buy in Spanish? Well, Diego, I'm glad you asked because today we're going to learn how to say to buy in Spanish. We're going to learn the names of the different farm animals. To say farm in Spanish, you would say la granja. Boys and girls, repeat after me. La granja. <laughs> oh, la granja, the farm. Correcto, Diego. Right now, nuevos amigos, it's time to do our nuevos amigos cheer. <laughs> so get up and get ready to cheer. N-U-E-V-O-S <laughs> A-M-I-G-O-S Nuevos amigos, nuevos amigos, ra, ra, ra. Okay, nuevos amigos, you did a great job. Oh, what was that noise, nuevos amigos? I think it's the basket of frijoles on the shelf. Let's see what's inside. Oh, oh my gosh, what's in here? A-E-O-U Yo soy el gigante, ¿y quién eres tú? Yo soy Señorita Garcia. Who's up there? I am the giant, El Gigante, and I am here to teach you many Spanish verbs. Oh, nuevos amigos. We have a new amigo, and his name is El Gigante, the giant. Gigante, do you know what the verb for the day is? Open up the basket of magical beans and let's find out. Did you see that, boys and girls? The verb for the day is comprar, to buy. I want everyone to say the verb with me, comprar. Comprar. Senorita Garcia, what were you talking about before you opened up the canasta de frijoles mágicos? Uh, I was telling Diego and our nuevos amigos about visiting a farm and how fun it was to be on a farm. My amigo Diego mentioned that sometimes animals are bought and sold on a farm. Will you use our verb in a sentence for us, Gigante? Sure, Senorita Garcia. We go to the market to buy animals for the farm. Market in Spanish is mercado. So the sentence is, 
voy al mercado a comprar los animales para la granja. This is a long sentence, so let me repeat it one more time. Voy al mercado a comprar los animales para la granja. Now you say it. Voy al mercado a comprar los animales para la granja. Great job, Gigante! And thank you. Thank you for helping us today. I hope to talk to you very soon so we can learn some more verbs in Spanish. Adios! Adios, Senorita Garcia. Adios, nuevos amigos. <laughs> oh, I just love meeting new friends, nuevos amigos. El Gigante sounded really nice and his voice was so loud and strong. Just like the giant in Juan y los Frijoles Mágicos. He taught us our verb for today, which is... What is it, nuevos amigos? Right, correcto. Comprar. Comprar. To buy. Now let's have our nuevos amigos dance and sing our theme song using the verb comprar. Do you remember how to say, I'd like to buy animals for the farm? Correcto. Repeat after me. Me gusta comprar los animales para la granja. Una vez más. Me gusta comprar los animales para la granja. Okay, boys and girls, let's sing our theme song. Hola, nuevos amigos. We are now going to review some of the animals in Spanish that we may have already learned. And then we are going to learn some names of some new animals. We will see some of these new animals in the story Juan y los Frijoles Mágicos. To say the farm animals in Spanish is... Hmm... Do you remember? <laughs> right! Los animales de la granja. Los animales de la granja. Let's start with our review. The first animal we see is a fox. And in Spanish we say, Zorro. Zorro. Next we have a ganso. Ganso, which is Spanish for goose. Now I see an owl, which in Spanish is, Buo. Buo. Look at the cute hair. To say hair in Spanish, you would say liebre, liebre. Now we see a turtle. His name in Spanish is tortuga, tortuga. Okay, boys and girls, let's review these animals one more time. Zorro, zorro, ganso, ganso, búho, búho, liebre, liebre, tortuga, tortuga. Okay, boys and girls, let's have Senorita Garcia help me with a little game. Take it away, Senorita Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Diego. Let's go over the animals we just reviewed. Here we go. Hey, I see an owl. El bull. El bull. 
Now I see a turtle. How do you say turtle in Spanish? La tortuga. La tortuga. Right. Oh, look. It's a hare. La liebre. La liebre. Look out, because I see a fox. El zorro. El zorro. Oh, look at the cute goose. In Spanish, we say el ganso. El ganso. Wow, that was great, nuevos amigos. I think Diego is ready to introduce some new animals. Adios. <laughs> okay, nuevos amigos. Now we are going to learn some new names of animals that live on La Granja, on the farm. The first animal is my favorite because it's a dog. <laughs> hey, I'm a dog, or in Spanish, perro. Perro. Perro is what you would call me. Hey, Juanita, what's going on? Hey, Diego. What are you doing? I'm teaching our nuevos amigos the name of some animals you would find on a farm. <laughs> oh, look at the kitty. I like to pet the kitty. Nice. That's a very nice, sweet cat. Nuevos amigos, to say cat in Spanish, you would say gato. Say it with me, Juanita. Gato. gato. I like to pet the gato. <laughs> Great, Juanita. Hey, what's over there? <coughs> oh, looks like a bird. I'm going to go see the bird, okay? Okay, Juanita. Bye, Diego. Adios. What a pretty bird. What's your name, bird? Pajaro. Bird in Spanish is pajaro. Can you say that bird? Pajaro. Almost. Look, Nuevos Amigos, I am underwater. And now I see a fish. To say fish in Spanish, you would say fez. Fez. One more time, fez. Hmm, I think we need to get out of the water and go to a real farm and learn the names of some more animals. Let's go. Meh, <laughs> meh. I see a sheep. La oveja is the sheep. La oveja. Moo. Next is the cow. She likes to eat a lot of grass. Cow in Spanish is vaca. Vaca. Look at the pretty horse. In Spanish, horse is caballo. Caballo. One more time, caballo. When you wake up in the morning on a farm, you may hear a rooster crow. El gallo. El gallo, the rooster, protects his hens. Hen in Spanish is gallina. La gallina. One more time. La gallina. <laughs> Nuevos amigos, that was fun. But I think we need to review to make sure we have learned all the names correctly. I think we should play a matching game. All you have to do is look at the word on the screen and find the picture that goes with it. Okay, here we go. I want you to help me match the animal with the name that comes up on the screen. Which one is El Caballo? Is it this one? Is this El Caballo? Yes, correct boys and girls. El Caballo is the horse. Now on the screen is La Oveja. Which picture is it boys and girls? Is it this one? No. This one? Yes, La Oveja is the sheep. La Oveja. This is so much fun. Next I have El Pajaro. And if I remember, El Pajaro is the bird. So is it this picture? Yes, El Pajaro. Now I see La Gallina on the screen. Which picture matches the word La Gallina? Is it this one? No. Okay, how about this one? Is this La Gallina? <coughs> yes, the hen is La Gallina. The word now is El Perro. This one should be easy. 
<laughs> I think this is the one. I knew that because I'm a perro. <laughs> now we have la vaca. Which picture matches the word la vaca? Is it this one? No. Okay, how about this picture? Yes, yes, la vaca is the cow. La vaca. Now we have the word el gato. I think this picture matches the word el gato. Am I right? I am, I sure am. All right, nuevos amigos. You can practice at home with your family and friends. Oh, by the way, if you ever go to a pet store to buy a pet and the salesperson asks, ¿Cuál quieres comprar tú? ¿Cuál quieres comprar tú? The response would be, Me gusta comprar, and then name the item you would like to buy. Oh, I am so tired, nuevos amigos, and I need to take a nap. Let's look at a dialogue using the phrase, ¿Cuál quieres comprar tú? I will see you later, nuevos amigos. Oh, I'm going to take a long nap. Oh. Hola, Zach. Hola, Juanita. Wow. ¿Cuál quieres comprar tú? Yo quiero comprar el perro. ¿Cuál quieres comprar tú? Quiero comprar el gato. Adiós. Adiós. Look, nuevos amigos, my cousin from Mexico sent me a present. I wonder what it is. Oh, she sent me a yarn painting. Oh, so beautiful. Que hermoso. Let's see who made this. Made by a Huichol artist. Oh, these are those famous yarn paintings that the Huicholas make. Let's spin the globe, nuevos amigos, and find out where the huicholes live. Dale, 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 no pierdes el tino, mide la distancia que hay en el camino. We landed on the state of Jalisco in Mexico. That is where the huicholes live. They also live in areas near the mountains in regions like Durango, Nayarit, and Zacatecas. The huichol are famous for their yarn paintings. The artist uses beeswax with pine resin as the glue which they spread over a piece of flat wood. They make all kinds of animal shapes, such as a deer, a bird, a pig, and a cow. I think I'm going to hang my huichol yarn painting in my living room. I think it will look great. Don't forget, learning about other cultures helps you to better understand the world we live in. Now that you know where we chol yarn paintings come from, I'm going to show you an easy way to make your own yarn painting. Here are some of the materials you'll be needing. Paper, black pen, marker, crayons, poster board, scissors, glue, black yarn, and any other color of yarn that you would like to use. First, you will trace a design of an animal in black and cut out. What I have done, amigos, is I have used a pattern and then I have enlarged that pattern several times. It just seems a lot easier to, make, to use a large animal shape and then to fill it in with the yarn, which we are going to do. Or, amigos, you could draw your own animal shape. And I have chosen a rooster, el gallo. Now, with a black pen, you're going to trace, black pen or marker, you're going to trace the shape of the animal. In this case, it's a rooster, un gallo. Next, what we do is with the scissors, I'm going to cut out this shape, and I've already started cutting this out. Here you go. So you just start tracing and following the shape of your farm animal. All right, and cut it out. 
Okay? Muy bien, amigos. Then what I have done is I have finished cutting out this shape and I have glued it onto a poster board and I cut it out. Now I have used the black yarn and I already started doing this. All right. So I started tracing the outline of El Gallo and as I do it I use my glue and then I glue it as I go along. And you may also, amigos, if you'd like to fill in before you outline the entire shape, you can do it. It depends. It's all up to you what's easier for you. Now, cut pieces of other colors of yarn. And I already started cutting. I cut out, actually, and <laughs> glued a green piece of yarn. So you may use your creativity and actually use as many colors or different colors as you would like. Now, with the crayons, if you don't want to fill in the entire farm animal, you can draw shapes or patterns with the crayons to make your own picture beautiful. Now look what I've done. I've filled it in with different colors. Wow, what a great looking art piece. Just like the Huichol Indians make. Let's review the steps. Step one, get your materials together. Step two, Trace the design of an animal on paper and cut it out. Step three, glue shape onto poster board and then cut that out. Step four, cut pieces of black yarn and glue to the outline of the animal. Step five, cut pieces of different colors of yarn and glue to the lines inside the animal. Step six. If you would like, you can make designs inside the cutout with black pin or crayons. Here are some other farm animal shapes that can be used. Here we have el caballo, the horse, la vaca, the cow, el cerdo, the pig, el gato, the cat, el pato, the duck, and el perro, the dog. I had so much fun! This is a great art project that can be made into any shape you would like to use. Make it fun by working with an amigo or an amiga. That was fun, Robos Amigos. I want to thank everyone for doing a great job today. Do you remember what we learned? I think we need to review. We reviewed the names of animals and then Diego taught us the names of some farm animals in Spanish. Let's review some of these animals. El zorro. El ganso. El pájaro. El búho. La liebre. La tortuga. El gallo. La oveja. El caballo. El pez y la gallina. We also learned the phrase ¿Cuál quieres comprar tú? Repeat after me. ¿Cuál quieres comprar tú? And the response is Quiero comprar and then you say the name of the item. In this phrase we said Quiero comprar el perro. We played a matching game with the different animals and we sang some great songs. I hope you had a good time singing too. Thank you, Nuevos Amigos, for all your hard work. Remember, when we learn a new language, we also make new friends. Adios!